Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done.
What's up everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode 11 and in today's episode we will be making our way out of Eterna City. I don't know where we're going but we're going somewhere. Now as always before we get started in today's episode if you guys are excited and if you guys are hyped make sure you hit that like button for me. Now as you guys saw from the beginning of the episode we had a very and I mean very intense grinding montage, and a lot of you guys might be wondering if you skipped over the grinding montage, why is there a Cacturn on the team? Well, I will explain. This wasn't just a grinding montage. I actually got a lot of things accomplished uh, as well in this little time lapse at the beginning of the episode. So basically, we trained up the team a lot, and I wasn't joking at the end of the last episode when I said we're probably going to get Albert to like level 35, level 40, because... This lock has just been kicking my ass lately. I have two Pokemon, and I just need to make sure that we're not going to lose, because I really don't want to lose this lock, and I guess there's really no way to make sure that you're not going to lose a lock, but damn it, I can prepare the best that I can. So we have Albert over here, all right, ladies and gentlemen, at level 40, the Glaceon, pure ice type, holding the scope lens with the hardy nature. We met this thing at Route 211. It has a 63 attack, 94 defense, 130, a very powerful 130 special attack, 93 special defense, and 66 speed. This thing has the torrent ability. It's holding the scope lens. I don't remember if I said that or not. Gotta increase that critical hit ratio. Powers up water type moves in a pinch. With the moves, Icy Wind, Bite, Ice Shard, and Sand Attack. Now, while I was grinding up Albert, I went down to go to the Mart or the bike store. I went somewhere. And Cynthia popped up and gave me an egg. She's like, hey, Vinny, I want you to have this egg. I was like, thank you, Cynthia. That was very nice of you. That egg hatched in the grinding montage, and we got Francisco the Cacturn, level 22. And this thing was actually nicknamed after one of you guys in the comment section from the last episode. So, Francisco, thank you so much for the love and support, and thank you all so much for the love and support. Love and support. That episode got so much feedback, so many comments. You guys destroyed the like button. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been killing it with this the series. Anyway, here's Cacturn, Grass and Dark type, not holding anything. I did give this thing the experience share for a little bit in the grinding montage, but once I really wanted to focus on training just Albert, I took the experience share off. This thing is a timid nature. We got it from Cynthia. We got the egg. Uh, let's see what else. It has the Vital Spirit ability, which prevents the Pokemon from falling asleep, which is nice. And this thing has pretty overall balanced stats. I mean, it definitely has low defense. It has really high special attack, which is nice. With the moves Pin Missile, Leech Seed, Sand Attack, and Growth. Now, other things that happened during the grinding montage, during the time lapse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Rocky was a guest speaker in the beginning, so that was pretty epic. Yo, the beginning of that grinding montage was like my favorite grinding montage. That was definitely my favorite as a whole. My favorite grinding montage I think I've ever done on the channel. The intro was just so hype. But anyway, I went to the bike store. I picked up the bike because I wanted to battle trainers on the cycling road, which we did if you guys watched the grinding montage. You guys might want to sit through the grinding montage and watch it uh, today because we actually did a lot of stuff other than just train in the grass. I went and tried to get a encounter here in Eterna City. I fished. I got a Dragonair, I believe it was, at level 5, and I just figured that I wouldn't be able to catch that Dragonair without weakening it, and I don't remember what level Albert was at at that point, but I used Tackle, hoping it would live with like a slither of HP. I ended up killing it, so we had to forfeit that encounter, which was unfortunate. Uh, we went down, like I said, we fought the people on the cycling road. I'm pretty sure that's everything we did. Uh, I might be wrong about that, so you guys might want to go check the grinding montage in full and just check out everything we did. I did sell one of our dragon rages, uh, because one of you guys was saying, Listen, Vinny, if you're short on cash, you should sell that, because you really don't need two right now. And I'm like, you're absolutely right, that's a good idea. Uh, I could show you the items that I bought. I bought a bunch of Pokeballs. I think I bought... How many Pokeballs did I buy? I know we had more... We didn't have zero. We had a couple, so I bought till we got till ten. I bought a bunch of super potions. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember. It was all happening very fast. So <laughs> go watch that if you guys want to check that out. We bought a bunch of items. We sold some stuff. Uh, anyway, right now I'm going to give the experience share back to Francisco, and that is a powerful nickname, ladies and gentlemen. And I asked my mother again this morning, because it is 9.25 in the morning right now. I did the grinding. Uh, when did I do the grinding? Right when I woke up. I think it was like... I think I finished grinding around like 8 o'clock, but anyway, my mother made me some more high-quality coffee, and you know, from now on in the morning episodes, I probably won't have high-quality H2O. I'll probably have high-quality coffee, because you know what? It wakes me up, it gets me ready, it gets the juices flowing. I'm excited, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 
It's been five minutes and 20 seconds around there. So it's time to get the episode started. Now, oh, that is good. Now, I didn't come in this house yet. I don't really know what we're supposed to do today. Because I did come in this house, uh, this building, whatever you want to call it, when we first got to the city. Now, I don't know what I want to do today because we can go south to the uh, cycling road and then there's another route down there. But we can also head to the east. So I think I'm going to head to the east first. Going to hopefully, I want I really would love a new encounter in today's episode. I've never been in this house. Let's talk to these people. Eterna came to me long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, what is important has not I hope it remains that way forevermore. I agree. I hope I hope that's the case as well. Your dialogue was very beautiful. Let's talk to you. Sheesh! What's the world coming to? Someone ripped off the descriptive plate from the Pokemon statue. Now no one can read the inscription. Why would someone do that actually? Want to know what it said? Yes, I do. I would love to expand my horizons and learn more. The first inscription went like this, sort of. Creation of Daya, giver of time. You meant to say Dialga. I'm using context clues, ladies and gentlemen. In laughter, there is tears, and likewise, the same time flows the blessing of Daya. Yikes, I've been forgetting big chunks of it. Want to hear about the other? Okay, no, you know, I really don't, to be honest with you. Let's talk to you. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I was a wee child, back in the Stone Age, bitch, you old as fuck! I'm sorry, that was rude. I'm sorry. Respect your elders. Kids. 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 If I can level with you real quick. Respect your elders, all right? Seriously, respect your elders. Let's continue this dialogue. <laughs> when I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I'm glad we came in here and talked to these people for a minute and a half. That was really nice. Anyway, let's continue along. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, the good thing is, like I mentioned, I have those super potions. I have the Pokeballs. We are ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. So let's make our way east of Eternity City. And let's start battling some trainers. And there's a cave coming up, which means this is a new area, hopefully. And that means it's Mount Coronet. 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 I don't know. I don't know how to read things. Anyway, we're going to go in there and get a new encounter, hopefully. So, strong man and... So, last episode, a motherfucking Grimer killed two Pokemon on our team. When we had three Pokemon in total. Now we're ba now we're battling now we're battling a muck and I'm gonna fucking destroy you icy wind. Hopefully this will be a one hit KO. I just I hate mucks and I hate Grimers now. And I'm pretty sure in the last episode I said how Grimer is like you know I really a Pokemon that I really appreciate a Pokemon that I really like. And I know a lot of you guys might be thinking Vinny going to level forty was a little bit overboard, don't you think? No, it's not overboard, guys. I have two fucking Pokemon. One's a Cacturn, okay? It has horrible defense. It could die at any minute. I need to make sure that we don't lose this lock. I refuse to lose this lock. Ladies and gentlemen, Plus is coming in. And you know, a lot of people were yelling at me like, Yo, Vinny, why did you go out to Pichu? He should have just stayed in with Angelica, with the Pidgeotto. I know, guys, but here's the thing. If I just stay with one Pokemon, then it's like people are going to say, Well, why don't you go out to Angelica? Why didn't you go out to the other Pokemon and, and tramp the other Pokemon? Because I have a bad habit of just training one Pokemon that I really like and that's really powerful and I don't, like, use the whole team. You know what I mean? I gotta get better at using everyone on the team. But unfortunately, by doing that, it got, it got us killed. Okay? It got us killed. Because we went out to Pichu. That, the Grimer got out, got up a bunch of minimizes. Then when I went back into Angelica... It was too late, but I'm not going to rehash the bad vibes from the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys missed that, go check it out. The link will be down below in the description. It was a ridiculous episode, but here's the plan now. I'm going to try my best, if we get more team members, which hopefully we will, to use the entire team, not just rely on Albert, but we need Albert to be strong in order to move forward in this lock. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Francisco will get some experience because of the experience share, which is nice. Because I just, I really, really don't want to lose this lock, guys. I don't. I don't. We lost, what did we We lost Vega. We lost Sweet. What was the lock before those two? Fire Red. Did we win Fire Red? I am drawing a blank right now. I think we did win Fire Red, but I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure we did, though. But anyway. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not think about the past. Let's focus on the here and now. Okay. It's time to get... A Zinc, apparently. I just clicked A right when I walked in front of that rock. Alright, let's get an encounter. Uh, I think the smart move would be to put Cacturn in the front, because Albert is not going to be able to weaken whatever we're battling in here. Okay, please give me something good. Please give me something good. 
Okay. Astarvia. So we lost Pidgeotto, and we're hopefully gonna gain Vistarvia. And I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh... I don't want to stay in with Francisco. I feel like this thing's catch rate is not going to be, you know, I feel like it's not going to be that difficult to catch. Um, but I'm not going to stay in with Francisco because, like I said, the defenses are horrible and I don't want this thing to hit me with a peck and one-shot me. I, I don't want to lose any Pokemon today, ladies and gentlemen. That cry is just so majestic. You're going for a double team, that's fine. Oh, my lord. I just... I want good vibes to start flowing again, ladies and gentlemen. I want to build a team. I want to work hard to succeed in this lock. In the wise words of Rocky, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear him in the intro? I did. Ice coffee. I, like, I almost want to stop commentating for a minute and just, like, chug that coffee because it tastes so delicious. Listen, I can't weaken you, dude. Please, stay in the ball. I'll give you a great nickname. You're going to join the squad. Mm, i got to weaken this thing down, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going for a wing attack. Okay. I... This is the problem with having a Pokemon at level 40 when the wild Pokemon are at level 14. <laughs> okay? I can't weaken it. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! Yes! We got Starvia! Starvia. Starvia. It's got to be Starvia, right? Or Starvia. Might be Starvia. Anyway, we caught this normal and flying Starling Pokemon, and this was potentially one of our starters, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, because we had Starly as a choice. This thing evolves. Starly evolves into this thing, and then this thing evolves into a Star Raptor, I believe it's called. Recognizing their own weakness, they always live in a group. When alone, a Starvia cries noisily. That's kind of sad. When they're alone, they cry. I'll give it a hug, though. I'll give it a hug. Anyway, let's come to the comments from the last episode, and let's find a nickname, a male nickname for this Stavia. Ah, Alexandro Lopez. He said, yo, long-ass day. I feel that, Alexandro. Yesterday was a long-ass day for me as well. I was going non-stop yesterday, man. Woke up at 7, made, did a bunch of recording, went to class, didn't get home till 8.30. I passed out last night at, like, 11. You guys know for me, that's, like, ridiculously early. Anyway, Alexandro Lopez, he said, thanks for uploading this after, yo, it's been a long-ass day. Well, thank you, Alexandro, for the love and support. I really appreciate it. And we are going to nickname this bird after you. So, Alex, just want to make sure I'm spelling this right. Alex and Alexandro. There we go. So, Alexandro, did I spell that right? A L E X. A-N-D-R-O, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R-O. Alexandro, thank you so much for the love and support, and thank you all so much for leaving comments, hitting that like button. Look at Alexandro. Let's check out this bad boy. Normal and flying type, not holding anything. It's a serious nature, and it likes to thrash about. Happily eats anything. That's nice. It has the water absorb ability, which is really nice. Uh, restores HP if it, gets, if it gets hit by a water type move. That is awesome, and this thing has... Really high speed, it's a really fast mon, and really high attack, which is nice. Growl, quick attack, wing attack, and double team. That's what I like to see. Now, what I want to see is, can this thing learn Dragon Rage? Or I just, I want a Pokemon to learn Dragon Rage so bad. Nope, no one still can. I wonder what Pokemon is going to be able to learn that. Uh, let's boot up Slash, and you can't learn Slash either. You probably can't learn Ominous Wind, but let's just check. We might as well. You can't learn that either. All right, so we got... Uh, Alexandro now. Now, I need to teach a Pokemon Rock Smash. Um, I could go get a dead Pokemon from the box. Ah, I can't teach Rock Smash to Albert. No way. Yeah, let me go grab a Pokemon from the box. And again, I'm only doing this because I need Rock Smash to continue to the next area. And I just, I really don't want to teach Albert Rock Smash. I just don't think that's a smart move. Look at this skunk tank! So majestic. Francisco's coming out. Francisco is ready to battle. And he's at level 22. So, yo, we have some epic nicknames on the squad right now. We got Francisco, we got Alexandro, and we got Albert. <laughs> Powerful nicknames, ladies and gentlemen. So, today is Wednesday. What's with this piece of hair? Oh, my goodness. Today is Wednesday, and I hope you guys are going to have amazing days today. Hope you're going to have an amazing day. Uh, let me know in the comments below what are you guys doing today. Now, my Wednesday goes a little something like this. I woke up early today. Like I said, I did all that grinding. It was about an hour worth of grinding condensed into about five minutes, I believe it was. And now I'm recording this episode. 
and it's 9.36 in the a.m. right now. After this, I have a couple of assignments to do for my class at 2.30. It's a film class called Major Directors from 2.30 to 5. And then after that, I am done for the day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go to the gym, get a nice workout in. Uh, did I say ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be going to the gym, getting a nice workout in. What am I doing? I'm just like walking around over here. Let's go back. Oh, no, I need to grab a Pokemon that knows rocks, man. See? Stay focused, Vinny. I talk too much sometimes, you know? <laughs> I'm sure you guys know. Why am I in the mart? Oh, my God. I just said stay focused and I come in the mart. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym after my class. And then maybe I'll record some more stuff later. Don't know exactly what the plan is. Uh, I'm thinking if everything goes well in today's episode, we should be able to have another episode of Platinum tomorrow. I'm going to try my best to stay consistent with the daily upload schedule because you guys were really excited about that. And I was excited about that. Look at this death box. This is absurd. This is absurd, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, we're going to take out... No, not Lorenzo. Who had Rock Smash? Laura did. And again, I'm not using Laura in battle. What am I doing right there? We're not using Laura in battle. All we're doing is taking Laura out of the PC just so we could use Rock Smash. It's going to be a little HM slave. And yes, I know she's dead, but like I said, we're not using her in battle. She's not going to be on the layout. She's not an official team member. She's dead. And I would love to let you rest in peace, Laura. I really would, but we got we got rocks to smash because my human hands can't do it. I need your, your paws to do it. You picking up what I'm putting down? Anyway, there's a Pokeball down there that I want to go grab. So let's smash this rock. Laura, would you please smash all these rocks? <laughs> Thank you, miss. All right, let's come down these steps. And this place is really awesome. Let's battle this green-haired bandit right here. Look at these beautiful wings. So let's see if the randomizer gave you a flying-type Pokemon because you're holding a birdcage. And no, it gave you a Don Fan at level 17. Francisco is going to come out. Oh, and I apologize for those disgusting noises of me slurping, but once you start drinking the, the high-quality coffee, you can't put it down because it's, it's got a little sweet. It's very sweet. High-quality H2O, it's not sweet, so you can put it down. This shit, you, you get it on your mouth, you're like, I want more. <laughs> At least that's how I feel right now. But yeah, man, uh, I mentioned on Twitter last night that I've been going to bed early lately. Like, early for me. Like, I always say early, and then people are always like, it's not early when you go to bed at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. For me, it's early compared to, like, my usual sleep schedule. So I went to bed. I've been going to bed early, and I've been waking up early and recording these episodes at, like, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock a.m., and I gotta admit, it's been really nice. I don't know what it is. It's something about waking up first thing in the morning. You got nothing on your mind. The only thing that I have to focus on right now is this game, and it's exciting. You know what I mean? Like, I got nothing to worry about today. The good vibes are flowing. I'm in a good mood. And I will continue to be in a good mood if we don't lose any Pokemon today, because we've lost Pokemon the last two episodes, and it's really start, it's really starting to grind my gears, you know? It's really starting to grind my gears, but I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'm not gonna let it bother me. It's bothering me so much, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to not think about it. Oh my goodness. Man, I was so heated after the last episode, you guys have no idea. We found TM69, which is Scratch. Come on, can I just, can I get some good TMs, please? Anybody learn Scratch? Not that I want to teach anybody Scratch. Nobody can learn it! So none of my Pokemon can learn these freaking TMs that we're finding. Which is annoying, but you know what? It's something that you gotta deal with. I love those random three little patches of grass over there. Okay, so here we are in Mount Coronet. Wild Battle. What else could we have gotten in here? Okay, so so far... Now, it's another Starvia, but this is a female one. And maybe the one that we caught and this one are dating. Maybe they're an item. I kind of feel bad. We should have caught her too. Let her hang out in the party. So they could like do what two birds that are dating do. Like go eat worms together and say cuckoo, cuckoo. You know? I don't know. Give me a master ball. We found a Lanzat berry. Now these look like the strength boulders. Am I right? Yes. It's a big boulder. Can we not come and... So you know what? We can't go here yet. So I'm guessing what we have to do is head south from the cycling road. Unless there's somewhere we can get strength in this town, but I highly doubt that's the case. I think what we have to do is go south, get strength, then we probably have to come back and head that way. I don't know. This is, again, this is the first time I'm playing this game. Not really sure what we're supposed to do, and I like the fact that I don't really know what we're supposed to do. Uh, this is Route 206. Now, there's nowhere that I can get encounter on the cycling road, because I'm pretty sure when I come down here, it turns into a new route slash area. Uh, but there's this blonde chick down here that I haven't talked to yet, so I'm going to talk to her real quick. 
How come I can't get off my bicycle, but she's not on a bicycle? I don't understand. What's a bicycle without this? You've got to have a flag. It's a Pokemon accessory. Okay, so we got a flag. What does it do? It's just in the fashion case. Okay, well, thank you for the flag, Mrs. Blonde Lady. Okay, so no, this is still Route 206, so we can get a new encounter here. Uh, I really hope I'm going the right way. Uh, so I think Route 206 is a new encounter, a new area. So what I'm going to do really quickly is just check the town map. And I know I keep saying I got to uh, write down these encounters. I just keep forgetting, and my phone is dead right now, so I'm charging it in the other room. So after this episode, I'm going to try my best to remember. Uh, remind me in the comment section if you guys can, because once I read these comments, I will remember. Uh, let me know to write down all of the encounters, all of the areas. That way, when I get to a new a new area like this, I can go, oh, it's a new area. We never caught anything here. I can check the list. Bada bing, bada boom. We good. So this goes down to Oraberg City? How is that possible? This is very confused. Oh, because there's that area above Oraberg City where we caught... Who did we catch there? I'm pretty sure we caught Pidgeotto there. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm losing my marbles today. My marbles are lost. Help me find my marbles. Anyway, this is a new route. Now it's not. So now we're in Route 207. Uh, let's pick these berries at hyper speed. We got orange berries. Nice. Got cherry berries. Nice. We got another orange berry. Nice. And a block berry. Bluckberry. That's fun to say. Bluckberry, Bluckberry, Bluckberry. Okay, what's this over here? What's the sign say? Trainer tips! I don't care about trainer tips. So, if we go down, I'm pretty sure that's the same... Can we go up that on the bike? I'm scared if I go down, I won't be able to come back up, but I want that item. Uh, let me go back to the town map really quickly. I just want to make sure... So, if we go right... Okay, so right is going to new areas. Going down would take us back towards Oraberg City. So I think I'm going to be able to come back up uh, that way. But first, any hidden items? No. All right, let me go grab that item really quickly. So let's come down like that. Can I go back up? Yes! Okay, good. So let's come over here. Now, what's down here? Okay, so here's Oraberg City. Nice. So yeah, we already got... Did we get an encounter over here? I can't remember. Oh, God, this is going to bother me. All right, real quick, let me come into the Pokemon Center. Because I just want to make sure really quickly that we didn't get a Route 207 encounter. I just want to check the PC here. Because I want to see where we got each Pokemon. Um, because then we could know if we can get an encounter there. So this is uh, Route 203. 207 was Josh. That's what it was. It wasn't Pidgeotto. It was Josh, I think. Oh, well, yeah. Well, obviously, we got Josh in that area. Where did we get Pidgeotto? Because this says Route 207. I could have sworn... Because Oraberg City is where the mine is, right? Or is that wrong? Because I could have sworn that we got Pidgeotto in the area where the mine is. In that, like, north area above that town. But again, that might be wrong. I don't remember where the mine is. Is the mine not popping up on the... Isn't it the Oraberg mine? I gotta check this out because this is gonna bother me. This is completely not necessary. But this is the mine, right? Yeah, the mines are down here. Okay, so I... I messed that up. I thought that we caught Pidgeotto up there, but turns out we caught Josh. All right, so let me boot the PC back up. And so that means we can't get a wrap to a 207 encounter. And my fingers are just jumpy today, moving things around at the speed of light over here with my controller. All right, so Route 203, Route 207, Route 204, Lake Verti, Verity, Verity. Uh, oh, God. Eh, I had to do it one more time. One more time for the kids at home. I miss him so much. I'm not even joking. I miss him so much. At least we can come into the PC and say hi to him, you know? H how are you, bud? I miss you. <laughs> he happily eats anything. He's just like me! Anyway, I can't. I just can't. Orberg Mine, Route 205, Valley Wind Works. Okay, so, so far, I see... What was the route? I think it was Route 208? Was the route north of us right now? This is Route 207, but the route up there. I don't know which way. I don't know if I'm pointing the right way. There's a route coming up that we can get a new encounter. Oh my god, Tyranitar level. Level 6. We should be able to run. You know what? Let's just kill it for the experience. We might as well. Might as well. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm getting coffee on my mustache. High quality coffee on a high quality mustache, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, let's come up here. Let's grab this item. How did I miss this? Found a yellow flute. Now, what does that do? Let's check that out in our battle items. So let's come over here. Uh, flute. Yellow flute. Do I have one already? 
Is it over here? Where would the yellow flute be? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Okay. A yellow flute made from bla from blown glass. Its melody snaps a single Pokemon out of confusion. So does that does that mean I can only use it one time and then it just, you know, breaks? Because that's nice. If we Oh, Relicum. How are you swimming in grass? Don't you need water to survive? Because if you I I'll take you down to a water source and throw you in. Because I don't want you to die over here in this grassy dirt terrain. You know what I'm saying? I care about you. Sean! How you doing, Sean? Squirtle is so cute in this gen. He's cute in every gen, but like especially in this gen. This looks so adorable. So this episode is going to be around 35 minutes, I'd say. Around there. I know I said I wanted to keep it around. Do I have to, like, pick up speed first? Okay, hold on. Let me pick up some speed. Beautiful. All right. So let's double battle these people right here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best, too. Okay. I'm happy for you. Let's see what you got. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work on too. Did you guys just have the same dialogue? I think you did. I think you did. Anyway, double battle. Okay, Gymnast Chloe and Engineer something. And there is a Crawdont, the evolved form of Corfish. Shout out to King Corfish. Shout out to Ryan. So let's go for an Icy Wind on both of them, which is nice. And then let's go for a Pin Missile on the Crawdont. So let's see. I don't think Icy Wind will kill the Crawdont, even though we are at level 40, because it's not very effective. Oh my god, it's a crit! So the beautiful thing about the scope lens is that it raises the high, uh, raises the critical hit ratio, which is awesome because we could potentially get more critical hits. Look at that! Yeah, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Just go in a battle and not be worried. You just, you just slaughter everything in your path. Albert is MVP, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, MVP right now. I mean, MVP of this series. I don't know yet. You know what I mean? Angelica put in the finest of work until she died. And Chompers was putting in the finest of work until he died. Who do you guys think is the MVP of the series so far? Because Albert's too new to, to decide yet. Obviously on the team right now, he's the MVP because he's at level fucking 40. Okay, and he's putting in the finest. Uh, let's go for another Icy Wind. We should be able to take down this Kangaskhan. And the thing you guys got to keep in mind too, I know we're at level 40, but in a Nuzlocke, literally anything can happen. Anything can happen. In the grinding montage, at one point... If, if you blink, you probably will miss it because things are happening so fast. We were battling a Wobbuffet, and I was so scared. It was like, I think, 35 minutes into the grinding. We find a Wobbuffet, and I'm like, I'm about to lose Albert right now. So I just did a bunch of sand attacks, as many as I possibly could, so it would potentially miss. I don't even know if that works. I don't even know if counter or, or uh, what's the other move that uh, Wobbuffet has? counter and mirror code. I'm not even sure if those have the potential to miss, but I just didn't even want to take the risk. I just did a bunch of sand attacks, and then I just bit the thing. I think it was like three times. We got lucky. We killed it. That's what I mean, though. Anything can happen. Anything. So, us being at level 40 is just Dawn! How are you? It's just a safety blanket. Anyway. Hi, Vinny! How's your Pokedex coming along? Well, I caught a bunch of powerful Pokemon, and they all fucking died, so we had to regroup. And then those Pokemon died, so we had to regroup. And here we are. Let's go, Albert. Albert, let's go. Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. <laughs> oh my god, that's heavy. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Vinny, choose which hand. Left or right? Left or right? I'm gonna close my eyes. Bam! What do we get? I see. You want the verse? The verse seeker. I'm impressed, Vinny. You know it's important. We obtain the verse seeker. I don't know what that does. Does it help us seek battles? Using the verse speaker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Vinny, do you also have a Pokey Watch? Yep, you do. You can have this one too then. You deserve it all for all your hard work. The dowsing machine, we installed that app. Uh, it allows us to locate unseeable items, which is nice. What's really cool about the rematching trainers is that's going to be really good for grinding, which is nice. So we don't have to just go in the grass. We can rebattle some trainers and hopefully their Pokemon will be at higher levels. Um, now how do I get over there? Because I want to get those items. I don't necessarily want to battle these trainers. Okay. Looks like we have to battle these trainers. <laughs> Alright, so let's take on this person right here. I kind of want to make it to the next city by the end of this episode. But I feel like we should just... How you doing, Clefable? I feel like we should end the episode around 35 minutes. I, want, I don't want these episodes to be too long. Because I know a lot of you guys like episodes that are between like 25 and 35 minutes. Let me know in the comments below, though. What is your personal preference? Do you like longer episodes, or do you like episodes around 20 to 25 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes? Let me know what you guys think down below. I always like having conversation with you guys in the comment section. So here comes a giraffe rig. 
And man, I can't believe I got Albert all the way up to level 40. The grinding was so intense, ladies and gentlemen. It was insane, man. I, I literally muted all of the volume on my computer, and I just had my phone in front of me, and I was blasting, like, hardcore music to get me hyped up. It felt like I was working out. It was awesome. Oh, that's good. Blastoise is coming in. He just waved to me. How you doing, Blastoise? Uh, let's go for a bite. See how much damage that does. Now, Albert's attack is really not good, like, as you can see here. But we got a flinch, though, which is nice. Uh, Albert has really high special attack and really shitty regular attack. And Albert only has one special attack and move right now. When this thing gets Ice Beam, I don't know if it'll learn it by level up. If it, if it does, can someone please let me know? But when this thing learns Ice Beam, it's gonna be a fucking game changer. And I can't wait for that, man. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. So, uh, Francisco gets to level 25 and is learning Ingrain. So we are gonna teach... Now, what does Growth do? Now, this raises special attack. I don't know if I really want to learn Ingrain. I kind of want to keep Sand Attack on there. Now... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give up on Ingrain. I just, I thought about it. I had a, a quick debate with myself in my, uh, in my head there. An internal debate, and I just, I don't know. To me, not worth it. Let's come down here. Let's battle this guy. How you doing? Waha! Laughter brings good fortune! It does. I love to laugh. I laugh in, like, every episode. Unless, oh my god, this guy has a lot of Pokemon. Alright, he's gonna send out a Gengar at level 17. And Gengar has an awesome sprite in this game. Holy shit, let's go for an Icy Wind. And this should be a one-hit KO because Gengar is a glass cannon. The defenses, excuse me, are not that good. But Gengar hits like a fucking beast, ladies and gentlemen. And I love uh, taking a shower right when I wake up in the morning. For some reason, another Relicon. Ever since I was a little kid, I always loved waking up and going right into the shower because I always felt like the shower woke me up. Like before school, before anything. The second I wake up in the morning, I gotta take a shower. I don't know why, it's just something that I've always done. I feel like a lot of people do that though, a lot of people take showers in the morning, but me, man, I gotta take a shower, or I just don't, I don't feel right, you know what I mean? I take so many showers, though. I shower, I feel like I shower more than the average person, like, sometimes I'll take, like, three showers in a day, which sounds, some of you might be like, what the fuck, Vinny, like, that's a little extreme. Sometimes more. It depends. I like to shower in the morning, I like to shower after I go to the gym, I like to shower sometimes before bed, most of the time before bed, to be honest with you, after a long day. Maybe sometimes I shower more than three times a day. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be sometimes four times. I don't know. Let's not get into my showering habits <laughs> right now. But yo, this beard. You know, when I wear a black shirt, like the beard, like camel, like right now, this looks like it's like a part of my shirt, which is crazy. So the beard doesn't look as full when I wear a black shirt. But like if I pull the neckline down a little bit, look at this beard, man. It's ridiculous. Poochiana's coming in. I'm going to stay in with Albert. Now, what I'm going to do actually after this episode is I'm going to train up uh, like, in the next episode, I'm gonna train up our other two Pokemon and let Albert chill right now, because Albert's at level 40. Albert does not need any more experience, to be honest with you guys. And it's not very effective. I should have won for the Icy Wind. I don't know why I didn't. And then this thing goes for a Sand Attack, which is a pain in the ass. Now listen, we're at 34 minutes. So far, nothing bad has happened. I'm not gonna count out the possibility of something bad happening, but I think we're good today, guys. I think we're in the clear for this episode. Watch we lose a Pokemon. I will, I will punch this screen. I will punch my computer screen so hard that it would go through the wall behind me and land on my neighbor's front stoop. Okay, can we please right now just connect and kill this thing? Thank you, Albert. Man. But yeah, my anger would, would hit new heights. You guys would witness a side of me that you've never seen before. <laughs> okay, we found another shiny stone, which is powerful, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is there another, there's another item over there. I can avoid this train. How do I get that item? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I think this is where we're going to wrap the episode up, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to go back inside of Mount Coronet. And again, I hope I'm saying that right. Make our way to the next city, town, area, village, island, whatever you want to call it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am very happy with this episode. <sighs> I can breathe. I am ending the episode on a high note. Nobody died. The grinding was worth it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for liking the video, for commenting on the video, for watching the video. Thank you guys so much, and you guys are the best. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up episode 11. We will be back in episode 12 tomorrow. We should have a new episode tomorrow. Um, I should be able to get that done for you guys, and I'm feeling good, and happy Wednesday. And as always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.